of calculating the density of a human body, so you got to get the mass of a human body. Um, since I'm going to be jumping into the water with these on, I'm going to do my mass measurement with my snorkel and goggle on. So let's see, I'm going to hop on my scale here, and I will balance this out. So this is actually a true balance too, which is great. And my balance comes to 160 pounds, but of course, pounds is not a scientific unit. So we're going to calculate that into grams. I've actually already done the calculation. It is 72,575 grams, otherwise known as 72.575 kilograms. So we're going to use this in our eventual density calculation. So if you want to calculate the volume of, a, of an irregularly shaped object, like a person, what you do is you calculate it by displacement. So displacement is simply, you've got something that is filled with water, and then anytime you add additional volume to that thing you've got full of water, it overflows. So I am displacing the water, and watch. As I put my arms in, water flows over the side. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna climb entirely into this barrel and we're gonna calculate all of the displaced water. That water that I displaced is exactly equal to my volume. So in order to do this perfectly right, I need to submerge my entire body in the container and let it all overflow, hence the goggles and the snorkel. Let's do this. Going in. It's actually nice on a hot day. <laughs> to be inside of a barrel full of water. <laughs> this is completely ridiculous. Okay, so now we have the task of trying to measure all of the water that I have displaced. Uh, we've constructed something to be able to measure this quantity of water. It's right over there. So let's get to the measuring stage. Now what we're going to do is we're going to collect all of the water that I've displaced out. Um, I, I marked the, this little container, this Rubbermaid container, with some measurements on the side. bit of water in this pool still um, in terms of our overall measurement I think we're pretty good these are in uh, three liter increments so we already had 60 that's 75 78 and then pretty much exactly halfway between 78 and uh, 81 so we're gonna measure that to be 79.5 uh, 79.5 79 liters so <coughs> My volume is 79.5 liters. Last step, so we're going to do a little bit of math. D for density is equal to an object's mass divided by an object's volume. When we use this formula, we're going to use very particular units. We always want to use it with an object's mass in grams and an object's volume in centimeters cubed. This becomes our unit for density, grams divided by centimeters cubed. So this is all we're going to do. It's actually a really simple math, just mass divided by volume. Notice I've got, always going to put the units on there. So 20 divided by 2 is just going to be 10. 
and then our unit is grams divided by the centimeters cube. So our unit just becomes grams over centimeters cubed. So that's a simple example of calculating the density. Now let's use the actual numbers that I got. So let's set it up in the exact same way. So just D equals M over V. Density is equal to mass divided by volume. In the case of mass, what we found, consulting my notes, was my mass was 72.575 kilograms. My volume was 79.5 liters. Notice we've actually got different units here than we had before, so we actually are going to need to run a conversion. So we need to convert kilograms to grams. It's a very easy conversion. It turns out one kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. So we take this number and multiply by 1,000. That gives us 72,575 grams. Similarly, 79.5 liters, there are exactly 1,000 milliliters in a liter. So I take the 79.5 and multiply by 1,000. 79,500 milliliters. You might be wondering, look, we've got grams over milliliters. This still looks different than before. Conveniently, one milliliter is exactly equal to one centimeter cubed. It allows us to use milliliters and centimeters cubed interchangeably. So I can just take this milliliter here, raise it, and get centimeters cubed. Now we're working in the right units. So just uh, last step, divide this out. Uh, you don't need a fancy calculator for it. You can use one of the little blue guys. That's it. This whole process was all working up to this one number. My density is 0 0.913 grams per centimeter cubed. And that is how you calculate it. Summertime in McCarthy. Have you ever wondered what the teachers do when you guys are gone? We've got a pool. Actually, we're getting ready to film uh, part two of our density video. We need a pool to capture the water. <laughs> but it's a nice spot.